Are you a liar, a bully, and a punk? If so, the LVMPD needs you. We got jobs for crooked cops like me. Hey, that's all my cocaine that's left? I stole that cocaine from a drug dealer for me, not for you to put up your nose. No integrity, no honor, no problem. The 10 LVMPD officers who've recently been arrested didn't have any integrity either. These are the mugshots of the 10 criminals with badges whose butts are currently behind bars for crimes such as child abuse, embezzlement, soliciting a child for prostitution, sexual abuse of a minor, drug trafficking, murder. Hell, this one here even taped a man's genitals on duty and forced a mentally ill man to twerk. Our experienced officers have done it all. Ah! Every day I come home and the cocaine that I work so hard to steal from drug dealers ends up in your nose and I don't get to have any and I'm tired of it. Next time you steal the cocaine that I stole, there's gonna be a bullet in your head. Our cops shoot innocent people and get away with it. Hell, they even get a paid vacation. Come join the only police department in America where the cops are bigger criminals than the felons they arrest. Ah, damn, I got this cocaine on my damn patch again. And with so many of our officers locked up behind bars, the LVMPD needs a fresh set of liars, bullies, thugs, and punk asses to commit crimes against the citizens of Las Vegas. And no bigger crime was committed than the one that happened on 1 October 2017 the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history, the one that the LVMPD helped cover up. And I made a movie about it called Money Machine. We are talking about the largest mass shooting in the history of the United States. This is a crazed lunatic. My brother just killed 58 people. My dad was on the 10 most wanted FBI list. We're not normal people. Ah! gambled $1.6 million at the Mandalay in the week before he did this. He was really, really angry with the gaming industry. There's been accusations that there's multiple shooters that has been proven to be false. You had politicians grandstanding on this Vegas Strong movement to get elected. Vegas Strong. I'm turning tragedy into opportunity. It was an election year and it was camera time for Lombardo and his friends. I want to thank Sheriff Lombardo for your leadership. I'm getting face time every day. Almost every press conference, you saw one figure, and that was Steve Sislak, using this as a springboard for his political campaign. He used the tragedy to get elected. While the hashtag Vegas Strong campaign raised over $10 million, less than $20,000 were distributed to the victims in the first five months. If they came out and said what really happened, I think they're afraid of a period of time where people say it's not safe to go to Vegas. And nothing happens in Las Vegas without the ring of a cash register. MGM Resorts is suing the victims. They are being sued for getting shot. Shameful, disgusting, outrageous. The newly released video shows Las Vegas police waiting in the hallway as Stephen Paddock continues to murder people. Oh my God. Lives could have been saved if they would have taken action. They were vivid the whole time about being such big heroes they were hiding in the hallway. I asked them, are you stupid or are you incompetent? Please stop asking your question. You hear officers directly saying, turn your cameras off. There is no conspiracy. Can't trust it! Yeah, can't trust this! 